Welcome back to Good Day Columbia at 737. Social media sites have to work double to protect the privacy of their users. With Facebook's recent announcement that everyone has to use Timeline, users should be concerned about how their private information may be shared with complete strangers. Joining me now to talk about this privacy issue is the owner of that computer store in Irmo, our tech expert, Stephen Mion. That's Stephen. me. Yes, it is. Good, Good morning. Can I have your autograph? You can. All right. I get a picture. I'll <laughs> sign it. It's cool. Well, the timeline issue, you know, should have plenty of people concerned about it. The question is, why would Facebook invent an option that has so many face um, has so many privacy issues? Well, and it's it's interesting that you ask that because Facebook really is all about privacy. Right. Um, they've changed their privacy policy, mm -hmm. you know, with the seasons. Um, either opening it up to advertisers, closing it off a little more to give people better a better sense of privacy. Timeline is interesting because it doesn't specifically uh, affect privacy in its policy, okay. but depending on how your privacy policy uh, settings are now, when you are forced to move to timeline, and a lot of people have done this voluntarily, some people love it, some people hate it, yeah. um, <laughs> it, it, it can open up older stuff to the world, to and the public. Oh, that's what some people don't want, like the older stuff. Right, because there may be <laughs> some stuff that, you know, you've, you've forgotten about it, that was a couple years ago, and, and it literally tracks yeah. from when you signed up to Facebook up <laughs> until now. Wow, that's yeah. pretty interesting. Now, Google announcing privacy changes as well. Uh, we've been hearing about yes. this on and on. How is that going to change us when we use Google? Well, it's a different kind of animal than the Facebook thing. Um, Google has over 60 online services. There's yeah. Gmail, there's your, your Android phone, there's Google Plus, G, G Plus there's right. YouTube, the actual Google search, people use that too. Um, and what they've done is instead of having over 60 privacy policies, they're going to combine them all. Now the concerns are, mm -hmm. with one privacy policy to rule them all, uh, Google says it's going to be a better user experience, it's going to enable them to add more features and things like that, uh, but okay. the world, Congress actually wrote a letter to Google about this, mm -hmm. they're concerned that, you know, if the government had this level of, of profiling um, yeah. uh, aggregated among multiple online services, people would be crying about civil liberties and, and, and you know, uh, privacy and freedoms and things like that. So people are really worried that putting all of that information together in the hands of one company, which it already is actually, but but yeah. that's going to be a major problem. It could be a big problem, yeah. Now, mm -hmm. you know, Google says that this is going to give people more freedom. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to make them more money. They're going to be able to, to sell wow. better ads mm -hmm. to more people in different places, you know. Just so. Another. Yeah, That's I mean, another. these are these are companies. We have to realize, you know, these may enhance our lives mm -hmm. uh, because we all live on the internet. But the truth of the matter is, these are companies out to make money. You know, right. they've got they've got a bottom line. They want to profit. Uh, the thing with timeline, um, I'm sure that it's a, it's a business move in large part. They want to try and make it more attractive to to new users and things like that. Um, so you just keep an eye on your privacy. Check your Facebook stuff. Check the Google thing. Make sure you're not searching for weird stuff. Wow, oh, running out of time. I wish we could be able to talk to us about the Forget Me Law. Really short. Oh, the simple. Forget Me Law. What is this? You know about? what? We'll talk about the Forget Me Law next week because that's really some interesting stuff. It's actually uh, governments kind of combating this uh, this whole privacy mm -hmm. thing online, giving people some more protections. Okay, all right. Yeah. Our tech expert, Stephen Miano, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.